What's up guys, it's a beautiful day today. I am doing aquarium stuff, obviously, right? I'm in my shop and I realized today looking through some comments on some of my previous videos, I have one video in particular that absolutely sucks and people are letting me know in the comment section. And uh, that's totally fine. I sh this video is terrible. It's on DIY aquarium decor. And it's got a bunch of thumbs down. The video is stupid. People are commenting. They're like, hey, man, this video sucks. Basically, what I did in the video, to sum it up, is I took some terracotta pots and I, and I wrapped some expanding foam around the terracotta pots. And that was kind of it. And just kind of played around with it. And that's kind of a stupid, uh, it's somewhat of a misleading video. So uh, without further ado, I want to make a cooler video because I, I think about this stuff all the time. And I'm constantly battling, you know, I can't afford to buy expensive aquarium decor for each tank because I have 30 plus fish tanks. So you have to make your own. Um, let's talk about what we can do. Um, these are going to be, I'm gonna give you guys like four, five ideas on the best aquarium DIY decor you can do yourself. So, um, I'm gonna flip the cam here and I wanna show you guys number one. We're actually gonna have to flip the cam here. Uh, number one is finding your own driftwood. And uh, the common saying is finding driftwood, but it doesn't have to be driftwood. That's where a lot of people are stopped up on this. I found all of this wood locally and none of it is actually technically driftwood. So I found, I found this piece here on the side of the ditch here. This is a gnarly like looking tree. It's a stump that literally got pulled out of the ground and I found it in the ditch while driving down the road. That was another video here. Ugh, I just scratched my leg really bad with it. Anyhow, getting crazy with videos. Oh, and I just found this piece of wood over here. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, just got a new go-kart too. It's pretty badass uh, Give you guys a better view here. It's actually for Avery Got a go-kart um, She's only six months old, but uh, Gotta got, gotta get your children cool toys, right? Okay, so this is a gnarly piece of wood. I found Just in my yard. It fell out of a tree. So let's take a look at it Okay I'm pretty happy with this piece of wood. I don't know why. It's not that special. Literally fell on the ground. I found it in my yard. It's a branch. It's a tree branch, guys. Give you guys a better view of it. Uh, nothing special. It has some bark on it, some bark not on it. Basically, I'm gonna scratch the rest of the bark off, throw it in a tank, and a lot of people ask me, how do you prep your wood before putting it in the tank? If I know for sure, that the wood has not been sprayed with insecticide or pesticide, I throw it right in my tank because uh, I also, there's three things with finding wood. If it's sprayed, you have to make sure it's not sprayed with insecticide, pesticide, and make sure it's not uh, filled with bugs. <sighs> I'm getting worked up, guys. All right, so number one is find wood for your tanks. I mean, what's cooler than wood? Okay, number two. Uh, I'm gonna flip the cam here. All right, my second favorite DIY aquarium decor is the terracotta pot. For $1.60, I believe it is, the smaller ones are like 89 cents. Uh, you can have a piece of stone, you can do whatever you want with it. A lot of people just set it right in the tank. They have bigger ones too. I know, isn't that thing awesome, Avery? I know, right? Yeah. Anyhow, terracotta pots. What I like to do is cut off the bottom with a grinder masonry bit. And uh, you can also just bury it in the gravel. That works too. Or else what I've done with some of them is just kind of bash it on the concrete and it breaks. Um, my newest favorite thing to do though is to take some of this stuff, uh, great stuff, pond and stone. And what I do is I cover the entire surface with this pond and stone and it gives it a different look because the terracotta look is kind of a weird tan yellowish color and I've grown to hate it because 
it just looks gaudy to me and this makes it look like a stone. And that's basically all I did in the other video. I was getting all this hate and geez, you really like that foam, don't you? Um, this stuff is like nine bucks on Amazon. That's really the only place I've found, found it. I'll throw a link in the description box. I've done a bunch of DIY backgrounds with this stuff. I, I've fallen in love with it. And what else I've done is, um, uh, yeah, my third favorite thing to do is to take baskets. Baskets. I know, I'm going to show you guys. Oh, okay, you dropped it. Good thing it didn't explode. Um, is to take baskets and uh, bring together the expanding foam and rocks because the basket obviously floats. This is just your generic plastic, <laughs> generic plastic basket. What you do is you put rocks on it and as the foam, well first you apply foam to it and then you add rocks to it so that it sinks and it turns into like this little hut. I've built a couple for my piranhas. They absolutely love them. It's great for cichlids. Uh, it, it's just a different, unique look. So, um, and here's a different basket. Any plastic basket will work because it's all gonna be covered with foam. Foam and rocks, essentially. You, you need the rocks or else, because the foam is actually going to float. So, here's another basket I've been saving. And basically what I do is I'll buy a can of expanding foam, set aside a bunch of terracotta pots, make like 10 plus decor decorations out of this stuff because once you open the foam, the can of foam, uh, it's a one-time use deal because when it hardens, you can't reuse it, which kind of sucks, but that's just how it works. So that's three ideas now, guys. Number one, find your own driftwood. That's real simple. Number two, terracotta pots. Uh, if you get these at your store, local home improvement store, literally like $1.50 for a large one. And this is to show you the size of it. That's your head. That's your head. Yeah, I know. I'm a bad father. <clears throat> and number three, use the basket idea. Number four is using uh, PVC pipes. This one's really simple. I love them. Buy PVC white pipes or else you can buy ABS black pipes. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys some pictures here in a second. I promise I'm just getting this uh, laid out. Uh, what I do is Plasti Dip them black. What I'll do is I'll scuff them a little bit with sandpaper and spray them. Why? Because why do I spray them? Because PVC pipes are cheaper than ABS. I don't know why, but ABS pipes are a lot more money. So my wife just texted me. Apparently, it's your bedtime. It's 7 p.m. and you've had a crazy long day. Daddy's been keeping you busy. Ugh. I've had a great day, dude. Um, I, I've been working on the go-kart, got some mini bikes going. I built a loft bed up there just for like when people come over and hang out, they can sleep over. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go down in the fish room and I want to show you guys just some, some video footage of what it looks like. These four ideas taking place in aquariums. So let's get to it. All right, guys. I decided I want to talk about the fifth idea. I know uh, I'm, I'm really blabby here, just blabbing in front of the camera, and I'm putting her to sleep really soon. Um, the fifth idea is getting more intense with doing your own, like uh, I'm sure you've seen the tutorials online where you do like dry lock concrete and you make like stumps. DIY Joey has a bunch of crazy cool um, tutorials but guys this is like next level stuff and i've done all of i've done tons of them but uh what sucks is the concrete reflects your water parameters so like for the first couple months the concrete you have to wait till it dilutes out and it, it just sucks because something that reflects with your water parameters it, that's not cool in my opinion and i just i have quit doing them all together but that is the fifth idea to get crazy. You know, um, what some people do is they'll start with PVC and then they'll spray foam over it to look, make it look like a tree trunk. But uh, I just feel like it's easier to use a piece of wood, essentially. Anyhow, uh, let's get in the fish room. I want to show you guys some footage of this instead of me just blabbing. And say goodnight to Avery because she's going to sleep. Blah, blah, blah. I love you guys. Subscribe. 
All right, finally, let's take a look at some of the stuff I've been talking about. Here is a terracotta pot covered in the black foam. It's kind of broken up into pieces. These are for, this is for an African tank. They really love it. Let's take a look at a bigger full-size terracotta pot covered in it. This stuff looks really cool, guys, I promise you. Um, I'll throw a link in the description box to this expandable foam. You can literally put it on anything and it is aquarium safe. Here's what it looks like without the foam. Still cool, but just it's, it's a lot cooler with the foam on the outside of it. So if you guys have any other cool DIY ideas, hit up the comment section. Uh, I'm all for this stuff and I absolutely love it.